Ames, thank you for joining us. We're here with Ames McNamara, who plays Mark on The Connors. And Ames, your character, Mark, uh, is a very interesting character. And the way that we were introduced to him a couple seasons ago was that he's Darlene's young son uh, who liked to wear dresses. And he was kind of finding his way in, this, in the family and in the world. Um, so what is it like to play a character like Mark? We haven't really seen him a lot on TV. So not a lot of actors have had the chance to play a character like Mark. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I really enjoy playing Mark and it's not not only for who he is, but his family and how and his his uh, relationships with his family. Um, but I think I think it's really cool that they have that that there's someone like Mark on TV for kids to to relate to. And I just think it's good to show all sorts of people on TV uh, because TV should reflect real life and and in real life everyone's everyone's all different but I, I I love playing Mark because I just think he's he's a really interesting person and he's also a, a constantly evolving person like everyone is and I've 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 really liked getting to see him grow throughout the seasons. Absolutely us as fans we definitely have too and one thing that I really like about Mark is that he's so interested in not so much politics but he's very interested in current events He's always interested in uh, who's running for office and different things like climate change and things like that. So do you share that trait with Mark or would you say that yeah. Mark is very, yeah? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I, I share I share that trait with Mark. I, I like to keep up with current events and, and, and all sorts of, and, and, I, and I'm very interested in climate change and issues like that. And I, I think it's cool to, because to have Mark have those sort of things, because I get to sort of use my own feelings on the subjects and make and put that into my performance. So that I enjoy that as well. Very cool. And you also talked about Mark's relationship with the rest of the Connors and his family. Um, and I think the the strong relationships of the cast really show on screen. So were you familiar with the characters in the Connors before you joined the show and before you were cast as Mark? I mean, uh, a little because my my mom and dad had had watched the original Roseanne show, um, and so. But once you know, I got the audition. They sort of explained to me it, uh, it, it some more because they were familiar with the characters. And 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 now that I'm on the show, I've gotten to know the characters quite well. Yeah, that's so cool. And you work with such amazing cast members like John Goodman, Laurie Metcalf are such legends, and. Sarah Gilbert, who plays your mom, has she given you or have they given you any advice, whether it be for acting or whether it just be about being a young actor who's growing up in front of the camera? I mean, it, I mean, you're you put it you put it exactly right because they are legends, and I do feel extremely lucky to work with them. And you know, just getting to get a view inside their process and and just see how they approach certain scenes and just, or a, the character in general is just so, that's, that gives a world of advice in itself. It's just, they're all so incredibly talented. You know, it's specifically when I have one-on-one -on -one scenes with all of them, it's, 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 it's great for me. And this specifically, Sarah, you know, a lot of my uh, heart to heart, sort of more emotional scenes are with her. And I, I always love when those come around because she's, a, she's an amazing scene partner, as is everyone on the show, really. That's awesome. So one of the things that's really interesting about what happens on the Connors is sometimes you guys have live episodes and you guys began this season with a live episode. Uh, so what's that experience like? I feel like your character specifically has a lot of the lines that are up to the minute you know, so what's it like being in a, a live episode and in this last live episode, you were uh, like on the phone with people and there was videos cutting in and out and everything's moving so fast. So what's that experience like? I mean, it's it's great. It's, you know, it's definitely a challenge, but I, I like a challenge. Um, and I, it, it's, it's also good because it's sort of, it's different from what we normally do, obviously. And it, and it, adds a little uh, something interesting to the to the to the season and starting start and this this year we started off our season with a bang definitely and with the the live aspects of both of the live shows and but particularly the the live callers 
I feel like that was um, that was extremely extremely cool, but also extremely difficult because you know we had the the behind the scenes work on it was crazy because we had all these different calls getting ready and like to sync them up to the phone and then and then all the um, you know the cameras that we had there. It was the amount of work that went in behind the scenes was crazy, but and I, I think it definitely you know paid off and and the result was this awesome live show that felt really interactive for the fans, but also was awesome for me to do as an actor. Yeah, especially when you mentioned the talking to the different people on the phone and everything. I'm not sure if something like that, some sitcoms have done live episodes, but I don't know if a lot of them have done like in real time splicing of viewers on the show. Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest, we, we, did, we did a lot of preparations for like what could go wrong because obviously once these callers are on, they could say absolutely anything. Um, but every single one of the callers were so nice, so awesome. Uh, and, but we were, I, I was worried because, you know, with the first live episode, obviously there's still the live aspects of like getting the news real time, but it was more sort of in our control in that sense. But this was like, once the call's on, you don't know what's going to happen. But I think that was also some of the the intrigue of the show for viewers, right? Absolutely, yeah. And that was, like you said, started the season off with a bang and already there's only been a couple episodes so far this season and already, um, you know, there's been a wedding and there's been up to and some breakups and updates of all the characters. So uh, can you give us a little tease on what's to come for the rest of the season? Yeah, or I mean, there's- specifically is up for Mark? Yeah, sure, but I mean, there's never a dull moment for the Connors, right? Every there's something always happening. But um, for Mark, particularly this season, you know, we're getting to see him grow up more um, and deal with the problems of being at this new school um, and and at this new magnet school, and you know, dealing with all of the normal problems that a teenager would, and also, um, there, you know, Darlene and Ben's breakup. And we saw a little bit of this in the wedding episode, but how Darlene and Ben's relationship is broken, but Mark still has a really strong connection with Ben. And, you know, he's become quite close with him over the, over the seasons. But I, and I think, you know, him dealing, him navigating that and dealing with that, we, we will definitely see some of that. Interesting. And there have been uh, some episodes where Mark has been, uh, trying to figure out his sexuality. There were a couple of kids he was interested in in his last school. Is that something that we might see this season at his new school? Yeah, I mean, I, I, think, I think always, you know, we, what we've seen throughout the, um, throughout the years is that Mark does, isn't necessarily one for specific labels and he's constantly changing and growing uh, as he grows up. So I think, you know, that might be something that, that viewers could look out for, but wherever wherever Mark goes, I'm, I'm excited to see. Awesome, we're excited to see too. And one last question I wanted to ask you, we kind of talked about this a little bit when we were talking about the live episode, but there's so many ways that this show is different from other shows that are on TV, whether it's in production or through the storylines. So is there something in particular that you've been able to do on this show that was unlike anything you've ever done before in your career? I mean, definitely the live episode. Like, so I, I, the first acting thing I ever did was um, was a play and and I really love theater and musical theater and stuff like that. So the, the fact that we, you know, are most times uh, when pre-COVID that we filmed in front of a live audience, um, at the, the, that, that felt like a play to me. So, and that I always loved. And then of course the live episode takes that more, takes that further because just like a play, you only get one shot and that that just, you know, and the energy you get from the audience is always so, so exciting. And just to, you know, get a window into how, make, how making a, a TV show like this works is really fascinating for me. I really love that. That's great. So we're all really excited to see what happens for the rest of the season. I'm Connors and Ames, thanks so much for taking the time to speak with us. Thank you so much.